Good afternoon. Okay, who's gonna pay for that? You talking to me? Yeah, talking to you, skunk. You walked in and your smell is just make all my flowers wilt. Who will pay for that? I just want some flowers. Six dollars, seventy-two cents. Bad seasons for beggars, huh? Here, pick any of these bouquets. But you, you don't have any signs saying you sell only flowers in full bouquets. Yeah? We don't have a sign here that we let the beggars in. But you're here. I just need some flowers. Here, take it. It's all you can afford on your budget. If you really need it. Uh, here's the pawn shop across the street. Go sell something valuable. Though, even if you sell your life, you won't have enough for the cheapest bouquet. Get out of here! Excuse me. Have a good day. What's uh, going on here? It's homeless people again, sir. It's getting colder now and they come to us to get warm. Why don't you do your job? What do they say about leaving trash on the floor? Yeah, of course. So, what do we have here? A medal, huh? Yes, sir. Okay, jokes aside, who did you steal it from? It's mine, sir. I'm a war veteran. Yeah, a distinguished service medal. The only distinguished service you can offer this country is to leave it as soon as possible. I'm a military lieutenant. And I'm the Prince of Wales. Look, I'll buy it. But stolen things get lower prices. Look, this me metal is very valuable. It's all I got. It's got my honor in it. Honor. Well, Lieutenant, I'd say your honor is worth 50 bucks. You gotta be joking. Look, price is non-negotiable. You take it or leave it. You're right, sir. The medal is worth more than 50 bucks. I'm selling it. Yeah. If people like you defended our country, it would have vanished a long time ago. Wait. You want to know how I figured that the medal is stolen? A real soldier would never sell his honor for 50 bucks. What do you think? And that'll be uh, fifty-five dollars. Thank you, sir. You uh, planning a celebration? 
something opposite. There he is. That's him. He lied about being a veteran to pawn a stolen medal. Is it true? Of course it is. <laughs> now that is right. That's the way to go, you beggar. People like you should be behind bars. Please, they wash you there. Hey, I'll stop it. Cut it out, Toby. What? Mr. Policeman, I'll explain everything. I just need that bouquet. You'll tell your story at the station. Hey, stop right there. Let him go. Excuse me? He didn't steal anything. Hmm. Let me introduce myself. Captain George McEvans, 101st Airborne. Alvin Peterson, 10th Mountain Division. Yeah, the Mountaineers. <laughs> this man is not just a military vet. He is a real hero. I better go to work. Um, have a nice day. Grab him. You called 911 just to mess around with a combat vet? I'm sure the judge will love to hear your side of the story. Whether you like it or not, false alarm is still a criminal offense. Officer, please! Don't worry. If you don't have the money for the fine, you'll do the time. And uh, my apologies. Captain, Lieutenant, thank you both for your service. Let's go. What's the matter? You're a war hero. I'm no hero. I'm in a hurry. I really needed that bouquet. And now I have no money and no flowers. Hey, hey, hey. How about some coffee, Lieutenant? <laughs> Toby! <laughs> You're fired. I promised your father I'd give you a couple of chances, try to make a man out of you, and you've blown them both. You, you, you treat customers with no respect, no dignity. And I think you owe Lieutenant Peterson here a bouquet. I'll take you wherever you need to go. One of your men, Lieutenant? I couldn't keep him safe. He was in my squad in the operation in the mountains. He was only 19 years old. He was looking for a pass in the mountains, and that's where the artillery got him. The squad survived because of Jeremy. Ever since the war ended, I'm having trouble coming back to normal. It's Jeremy's birthday today. I should have been in his place. I've heard about your squad, Lieutenant. You saved hundreds of lives. You're a real hero. War damages and destroys. But Jeremy would be upset if he knew that his squad leader had lost heart. Surviving the war isn't the hardest part. It's getting back to life afterwards. Look at me, I was in the war too. And somehow, I managed to pull it all together. Have you thought about looking for a job? 
I can't do anything. Well, maybe start with something small. I happen to know of an opening in a flower shop as my assistant. What do you think? I could get used to some beauty around. Well, see you tomorrow morning, 0800. Boots on the ground. Of course. <laughs> Help me out there. Uh, hey, didn't you uh, forget something? Whoa. Your dignity. Don't ever lose it. Anyone will take you seriously in this look. What a disgrace! Because of revealing clothes like this, harassment records keep appearing in use. And if you, once again, will embarrass this institution with this look, I give you my word. You will be thrown out of here straight away and go to streets where you belong to.